Welcome. Welcome back to the program. Thanks so much. Uh, joining us now is a great friend of the show, National Senator Bridget McKenzie. Bridget, you've been speaking here. You're, it's fantastic to have you here. It's so good. Yeah. Um, want to talk about this combating misinformation, yeah. misinformation bill, because seriously, it really does, in my uh, experience, there are many people who would naturally vote for the coalition and support the coalition, but they're, particularly after COVID, they're really not happy about the government, particularly government bureaucrats and politicians, mm. telling us what is true and what is false. Your thoughts? Absolutely. And great to be here at CPAC, yeah. Safe Space for Conservatives, which is fantastic. <laughs> uh, that's why we're voting against this misinformation bill, hands down. Can you imagine? We're all gathering together um, for the first time, really, as Conservatives in fellowship after the referendum vote. Mm -hmm. Now, can you imagine if this bill had have been in place during that, we wouldn't have reached the young people that we were able to reach. Um, I know Jacinta Nampajimpa Price and Warren Mundine, you know, went off like rock stars uh, on Instagram and the social media. So that all would have been declared politically sensitive and therefore the incentive under this bill is to actually for platforms to take it down and therefore minimise and um, free speech and the discussion of ideas. Well, well, that's, you know, the, really, the, the, the bill itself is sinister. It does, if you dive into the explanatory memorandum, it actually talks about how opinion can be that's inciting, right. not just, you know, facts that are untrue. And it encourages, it encourages these platforms that already want to throttle conservative speech to yeah. go further. That's right. But... You know, this is a debate we've had throughout history about new technology. It goes back to the printing press. Why, then, is the coalition still talking about doing their own misinformation bill? Wouldn't it be better to say, why don't we just have freedom of speech and Parliament shall make no law like we do in the United States? James, um, I'm very, very happy to have that conversation. We're voting down this very appalling bad bill, and we're proud to do so. We hope it doesn't get up with the support of the Greens, but it will be something we'll be getting rid of um, in a coalition government. Under You'll repeal Dutton. it? Well, I would be... A yes, yes, absolutely. Good. We have to do everything we can, but that's why you need to vote coalition in the Senate too, because we 100%. have right now the Greens control the Senate, the left controls the Senate, which makes it hard to govern, but that's another show we can do that. <laughs> um, but in terms of... So James Patterson, for instance... A uh, huge champion for free speech. Uh, we've just looked in a Senate inquiry into foreign interference in our elections. So there is going to have to be some measures that actually deal with the reality of the digital age and how we can ensure um, that Australians are getting um, factual information and not being having foreign interference through um, platforms. I think that that is something we're going to have to look at. But at empowering the bureaucrats mm. to do that, I think, is where the problem is. And the coalition is still supporting the office of the eSafety Commissioner, Julie Inman Grant, mm. who has politicised that role horrendously. We just had Sal go over here. She's banned tweets that essentially say men can't breastfeed. It's uh, shocking. Why would, why would any coalition MP be backing her well, think, and her role? Yeah, well, I think what Liz has been really clear about, and I think all of us who've had the great privilege to be uh, cabinet ministers, is when you get that opportunity, be very wary, be very wary of who you appoint to these bureaucratic exactly. agencies and mechanisms, which She's are a coalition appointment. Out, outside of, outside of um, the control and purvey of the people's representatives, the parliament. Mm -hmm. Huge concern about who we appoint. And also I thought Jim Allen yesterday, Professor Jim Allen, one of our few conservative academics in this country, gave mm. us very sound <laughs> um, advice as future legislators, is you've got to be very careful when you craft legislation. You've got to craft it, uh, even as conservative politicians and ministers, with the worst excesses of a Labor Green government in mind. Mm. What will they do with your legislation should they get the opportunity? So I thought that was great advice to us. And there were so many great speeches yesterday. I can't remember who coined the phrase, but it was the long march back through mm. the institutions, yeah. which I think is a great Absolutely. idea. That's what the Conservatives need to do, march back and clean out those institutions. That's what the next coalition government has to do.